Hello, <laughs> good morning. You caught me on a frosty morning on one of my early morning walks. Uh, it's just a little over five weeks since I've been back from Medjugorje, the lovely warm place in Croatia, uh, Bosnia Herzegovina. And uh, I've finally made the video. It's done in about eight parts due to YouTube and their restrictions. You know that yourself if you're on YouTube. Well, you would be because you're watching this. But um, anyway, it's broke down into eight parts, as I said, and finally I've got it put together. Uh, the first week and a half being back, I wasn't too well. I mean, like I was in the bed for the best part of half of the week or so. And uh, hey, that's another story in itself. But um, do enjoy <laughs> the videos. And may you be richly blessed by God in watching them and inspire you to go to Medjugorje or become closer to God. Part 5. This is the start of my second week in Medjugorje. As you can see over there is Apparition Hill and that is where, where we are going today. Excuse me, it's a little bit early in the morning, it's just a little bit after 6 o'clock in the morning. Today is the 1st of September and uh, I'm quite looking forward to it actually. And um, it was a beautiful day off yesterday of camera. so. As you can see, but um, 
the sun is rising over here to the left hand side but I'll show you more as we go along the way so do feel free to come with me as we go through the vineyards after you oh after me oh E pace intera, uomini amati da Signore Ti lodiamo, ti benediciamo, ti adoriamo E ti rendiamo grazie per la tua gloria immensa Signore Dio, Re del Cielo, Dio Padre side by the time we get up but we're going right up and we're coming right fully around but we'll go up to my favorite rock which I nicknamed Fortune's Rock so buckle up and let's go
Down there is Our Lady's statue of where she appeared in 1981 to the six visionaries of the local Medjugorjean village, which is down below. I'm a little bit tired. I need some water, actually. I should have done that before I did this. <laughs> there's a small amount of there's a small amount of traffic this morning here and there. That's about it. But there's nothing to get all upset and stressed about. <laughs> The rock is up there somewhere where I named Fortune's Rock for many years of coming to Medjugorje, but I can't seem to locate it at the moment. The rock is a rock, you know. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the view <laughs> while I get some water. Just up here, we're going to head down now where it'll be a little bit more quieter because Our Lady statue is down there and people will be praying around it. So that's why I'm speaking a little bit low because we're not too far from it. So um, I'm going to head down there now. So come on, mind your footing. flow from here. This is where she appeared in 1981 to the six visionaries in the local community. Oh, isn't it so beautiful? It's so quiet up here. Love one another. Be kind to one another. There's enough darkness in the world. As the Lord said, Love one another as he has loved us. And still does. Even though we have our faults. Keep God's commandments. I must go and be with my mother. My heavenly mother.
since I came back from Apparition Hill and I've been charging the batteries of the camera because the batteries went dead just as I finished all of uh, Apparition Hill. Sorry, let's start with a prayer first. I want our Father, hail Mary and glory be. Would you care to join me? In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Yeah, as I was saying, it was raining for the best part of the day, and it was really heavy, thunder and lightning and everything. The whole works. God was moving the furniture, though, <laughs> very noisily. It wasn't quiet. <laughs> Give me a second to put my rosary away. Yes. 
the battery of the camera. We managed to get up early, we managed to get the shots what you've seen. Lovely images, absolutely, especially the sunrise as well. What a, what a sunrise that was. But um, getting all the way up, I finally found the rock that I was talking about, Fortune's Rock, which I labelled it for many years. I love going up and sitting on it. I eventually found it. <laughs> a little bit of greenery here and there. I was like, um, it was a little bit dull. That's what it was. I was like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did somebody move the rock? Did the Italians nick it? <laughs> Shh, I didn't say that. <laughs> anyway, it was lovely to be able to sit up on Apparition Hill today, um, or this morning, I should say. Yeah, well, today, this morning, whatever. <laughs> and uh, it was nice and peaceful, and um, all to one of the Italians came along and started, yeah, la 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 la. But then it wasn't quite anymore. But at least I got some quiet time up there anyway. There was a lot of traffic on the way up as I was on the way down. Um, I didn't show too much of that. <laughs> I had to concentrate, you know. <laughs> it's all well and good going up, but going down is a different story. <laughs> but her lady helped me down. As she always does, because I always pray to her. I say, lady, we get me up here. Get me down here. All in one piece, please. And um, she does. She never fails. Never fails. She works in mysterious ways. Her ways are not her ways. And our ways are not her ways. Same with our Son, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. But anyway, um, <laughs> you, as you can see from down there, the church, there's not very many, but most of them are indoors because the drizzly rain that's out in the boat, you know. And um, most of them are wearing Max and umbrellas. And, so for me, I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna wear my bin bag. I have a bin bag in here, you know, a big wheelie bin. I can put a hole in the top of it and just walk around. <laughs> I should do. <laughs> Spot the Irish man. Yeah, he's the one in the bin bag. <laughs> bin bag. Uh, it wouldn't be nice in the photograph with <laughs> the, the, the group shot. <laughs> Oh, stop. <coughs> Perish the tot. <laughs> Don't run out of clothes. <coughs> It'll be bin bag for the airport. <laughs> Anything to check in? No. <laughs> it's all drenched. <laughs> I'll give you a laugh. I was looking out the window through the mesh work to see was the rain stopped. But I was in my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my book hit off the little the little thing that turns the water on. I was like that one minute and then all of a sudden I was drenched. <laughs> all my jeans, everything just went <laughs> I couldn't get out the yoke shut. <laughs> oh I tell you one thing, it was a calamity. I had to see the I saw the funny side of it. Nobody had known that I was wet all the way down in the jeans. I just went out in the rain. It's like ah. <laughs> nobody noticed nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm up in my favourite place up in the graveyard. There's not many people up here, right? because nobody really actually up here. Apart from the, the people who are resting in the graves. They probably say, oh, here he is again. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't get asleep. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. God forgive me. I just happen to have that little bit of humour, you know. Just integrate with me, humour. <sighs> Anyway, the, the evening mass is going on, as you've seen, and uh, oh, some lovely shots this morning, that sunrise was beautiful, I don't know if I said that already, but um, it's always worth saying things again, isn't it? <laughs> Keeps the old memory in check, you know. <laughs> I better stop talking like that, people think I actually talk like that, which I don't. Not really, no. I love this sweater, it's gorgeous, absolutely. Does wonders for the hair, you know, and rattles the knots. <laughs> oh. Terribly <Terrible> shot. <laughs> Must be the weather, see, that's what it is. That's when you don't wear the hat and the sun gets at that skull of yours, you know, it fries like an egg. <laughs> uh, 
lovely meal in the house today. We have a big load of people. They came in last night from, uh, where was it? Mostar. Mostar. They came in from Mostar. There was 38 of them and there was four of us. And there was a, a lady and her daughter. They were on their way home with yous, but they ended up getting sent back because something to do with paperwork. They're very nice people. I've talked to them in the house. They're from Mullingar. So they've uh, opted to stay for another week, so they get their papers in order. <laughs> uh, just some minor technical, whatever, you know. But anyway, they're very nice people. So there was them two, and then there's a woman from... <coughs> Her name is Margaret. She's from Cabin. I'll say no more. And maybe I will tell you, but I'll have to go to confession if I talk about somebody like that. Oh, I had my dinner in the kitchen yesterday with Enos. Uh, I was the first and the first time ever to be in that kitchen, sitting there. She was. You could say the shell, the little bit more. Chef, hang on. The chef special, chef's table. You know, cooking up and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> and then I was there with Daniela as well. It was lovely. It was lovely. Very first time for everything, I guess. Anyway, I'll, I'll ramble on. <laughs> as you do. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the evening. So. Do stay tuned and we'll look what's coming next. I don't know what's coming next, but we'll see how the evening progresses. Maybe more thunderstorms, who knows? Maybe more rumbles in the clouds. God probably ain't finished moving his furniture yet, you know, organizing up there. <laughs> My mother used to tell me that, you know, that Lord be good to her. She used to turn around and say, when I was frightened as a young kid of thunder and, thunder and lightning, do I not now? I, I got over that just a two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I got over that when I was a kid. And she used to turn around. I used to run into the bedroom and say, no, no, no. And she'd say, that's only God moving his furniture. And I said, but why can't he move it a little bit quieter and during the day instead of during the night when I'm trying to sleep? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids. We are young ones. Still are a heart. <laughs> anyway, listen to a bit of this priest speaking. Of course, you won't understand it in uh, Croatian. I don't understand it because I don't have one of those radios. Oh yeah, by the way, this is this is the first time I've worn my dad's jacket. I always wore every time I come to Medjugorje when the weather is appropriate enough for it, even coming through the airport. It's now it's the last jacket my dad ever wore before he passed away on the twenty second of July. 2004, which was when I started coming out here back in 2004 in Medjugorje. I came out here in June, my father was slowly deteriorating from prostate cancer. Lord be good to him. Good hard working man would do anything for anybody. Above and beyond the call of duty, he'd do any job, he would never turn his nose up at anything. Love him, miss him, same as my mother. May they rest in peace. I look forward to seeing them one day. We love, we always, we'll always have that joy in our heart. You know, they may be gone from our view, just like here in the graveyard. But we do have that promise. We'll all meet again one day. And won't we be very happy?
Oh, <laughs> I decided to come back early <laughs> and do a bit of, um, you know, scripture before I go to bed because it's nice to go to bed on the Word of God and wake up to the Word of God. Do what we can while we can because we can. And I can't fault today. Today has been a beautiful, beautiful day. Despite the rain. The rain means nothing to me. It's a blessing. It's a shower from heaven. Hmm? Absolutely a blessing. But anyway, I'll just go back to that. And uh, I'll, bid you, I'll bid you good night shortly. <laughs> I don't know why, anyway. <laughs> I think I need water again. Would you play that? I got a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, I'm back to scripture. Bid you good night. So ends another day. God bless, and as the locals would say, look a notch. And as the Italians would say, ciao. <laughs> good night. Yeah.